Welcome to the first episode of Sky Wars. You know, I've never played Sky Wars. It's, this is definitely my first ever episode. Anyway, got this guy next to us. He has. Okay, everyone's just a swear. Everyone's just a sweat these days. We'll pretend we're not here. Oh my god, did he just, does he have a po- no, he doesn't have a potion. Oh my god, I dealt like 50 knockback over there. Just like, st sent him straight out of there. Jeez, he went to space, that man. That man's out in, over to Mars. He just went flying. You know, we're gonna go over and kill this guy who's out mid, who basically has no gear. Yeah, you two fight. Give me that kill. Give me that kill. Don't kill me, spider. We gap up. And this is what you call a pro at cleaning. That's me. I'm so good at cleaning. Honestly. Don't call me the Sky Wars pro for nothing. This guy is not going to stand a chance because he has no gear. Oh dear. Mid loot's not that great. Let's be honest. Jeez, man. What you doing? What you doing, man? Anyway, let's just go over here. I want to confront him, let's be honest. Are you going to snowball me? It's legit going to just sit there. Okay, just two players left. And we killed him. And we're not killed him. I'm gonna choke this as well. Okay, there we go. So, you see, that's how most of my games go when I'm not recording. For some reason, whenever I record, it just never happens like that. Anyway, so the other day, okay, I was in debate club. Okay, I know. Debate club. In quarantine? I have so many questions, you must be saying. Why do you go to debate club? You are some nerd. And to that I say, well, you play Minecraft. Uh, a block game. That has literally been around for 10 years. That must be pretty nerdy. And we just comboed him into oblivion. Anyway, um, yeah. Debate club I'd be playing. I mean, going to. It is not actually that bad, you know? Debating. Debating. Everyone loves debating. I love debating. Actually, no, not everyone loves debating. But you get the picture. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's fun to tell everyone, hippity hoppity, your argument is now my property. That's basically Debate Club in a nutshell. That is Debate Club in a nutshell. Skeleton, do something. Thank you. Skeleton, do something. Thank you. And we clean. And we clean. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, we won. I wanted to finish my story. God. So I was in debate club, as you do. So, yeah. That was where we left off. Yep, I was in debate club. I'm a nerd. Shut up. I don't care what your opinion is. Okay? So, in debate club, the reason I go is because, like, hippity hoppity, your opinion is my property. That's basically my motto in debate club, you know? Like, it's fun opinion, you know? Just saying that everyone's wrong, that everyone's opinion doesn't or isn't right. And completely wrecking people because it didn't because you know why does it never happen hits just land hits just land please I just want the hits to land it just never works Ugh, I hate it when that happens it's just so irritating it's a mild inconvenience at the least but like yeah okay we're gonna go rush this guy anyway so yeah Debate club. I was, I was doing my daily debating, absolutely wrecking, just like how I wreck in Sky Wars just now. And you know, it was going well. After that point, we were we were having fun. Everyone was having the time of their lives. We were prepping in a room. I'm lying. You get basically you get you get put in pairs, and then you have to make form a speech about a topic that you just find out. That's how the b debate works. And our prep room was horrible. 
it was just complete silence. It was complete silence. I mean, how how am I meant to prep with my teammate if it's complete silence? It just you just can't. Oh god, this guy's stacked. They're both stacked. Um, I'll rush this guy because I have a pearl. And that's why you have a pearl. And that's why you have a pearl. Okay. So yeah, the room was complete silence. Completely silent. And I was like, what am I meant to do when my teammates are silent? I tried to make small talk. We started talking about points. But it was completely hopeless. So I'm, I, a year 11, was paired up with a year 9. Okay? So that's all well and good. But the problem is... That the other team was paired up with, with a year 11 and then a year 13. What am I meant to do? The, it's like a team with the average age that's like five times greater than me. I can't carry the team. That's way too hard. That's way too hard. I can't do that. I'm not good enough for that. My skill isn't that great. My god, you actually killed him. And thank you for that. You now give me all the gear I need. Look at the queen. Anyway, so we end up making our speech. And it's all good. Just like how I almost died there. Oh my god. We run. We run. And he has some... He got the... He, I don't know how he got that hit. So as I was saying, um, yeah, I had to carry the team. That's basically what happened. Because she made some good points, okay? I'll, I'll give her that. She made a few good points. But the problem is, when you are in a pair with a teammate who got into the finals of a really big tournament, it's kind of hard for your for the first speaker's points, her points, to not get argued, to not get completely obliterated, which is what happened. Her points were valid. Her points were good. And then the, the person in the year above basically just ruined her she basically was like hey dude how's how how's you? you had fun now all your points are mine thanks oh nice bowing i mean nice spamming thank you for that we got you think you think i'm not that bad you think i'm bad you think I'm bad, sonny boy? Well, I'm not. Haha, <laughs> and I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, we got this guy over here. I'm probably gonna kill him. Yes. I fell. It's fine. Do I need to gap? No, I don't. We'll save it for later. Anyway, the, this flipper man is really weak. We can heal, get this guy out of the game, and we win. So yeah, all our points are completely destroyed, completely obliterated. Ooh, all our points just don't stand because of the other guy. It wasn't great. I'm getting wrecked. Okay, anyway, it wasn't great. We were in for a bad time. So then I come, and I try and recover. I make a good, a good point, but then the problem is, I forget to mention one of my killer points. My killer points, okay? This point could have saved us the game. I forget to mention it. So what happens is we do a tally, okay? And they say, and at the start we're like, who do you think would win? And then I was like them, they have 10 times more points. So then we start talk. so then she says, ah, I don't think so. I'd be more careful if I were you. I'm talking, that's what she said. Exact words. No, my kill. Oh dear, you're stealing all the kills. And you're also using all the gaps. I'm gonna run. You have strength. You have strength. You had strength. You lucky son of a gun. Did you steal our strength? Nope. It's fine. Anyway, so there I was. Okay, we were we were telling up the points. This is all in a Zoom call, by the way. It's just it's just Zoom Zoom debating Zoom debating. There we were, counting up the points, listening to, seeing who would win in the end. And the funny thing is, it was really close. 
I basically, it, because of how much the other person, the, the old person, carried that team, um, I basically carried ours, almost. It, it was it was quite close. Okay, I was I was surprised how close it was, but it was quite close. However, I forgot that one point I said that would have saved us the game. It would have been like the play of the game. It would have been a pog momento. But it wasn't, because I forgot the point. And they win by about one point lead. It was unfortunate. It was devastating. I, I was, I was, I was trembling. I was sad. I was depressed almost. We go here. We kill you now. Yes. He left the game because I one-tapped him. Hell yeah. So yeah, that's the story of how I almost beat basically one of the best players in debating. But like, yeah. But you know, you can't win them all. I mean, I haven't won debating. I haven't won a debate in a while. Maybe because I'm not. I'm. I'm really good. Okay, I'm really good. You know, just, just, just forget the fact that I'm trash. Okay, and didn't win. Oh, I'm really good. You know, I'm really good. Just ask General Dragonfly. He's nice. He, me and him. We're not the dream team, but we're the Pog team. Anyway, so, so me and my friend were in a Discord. Uh, Tommy in a Discord. Okay. Because I was like, hey, you want you want to join? You want to just talk in this Discord for absolutely no given reason? And just see who joins. And he was like, you know what? Screw it, yeah. And then we were just vibing, us two, until one of my one of my friends joined that was that I know from the Discord. He was like, yo, Prag, my G, my blood. And I was like, yo, Scotty, this is my friend Abdullah. And he was like, who? That was literally his reaction. Who? Who this guy? Who this guy? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? A relevant bugger? That, that's basically his reaction. Most people have no clue who he is, but but that I do. And that's all that's important. He don't care. I don't care. Nobody gives a shit about relevancy in my friend group because it's re it's about being popular. And to be honest, at school we're not popular, so no one gives a shit. You're gonna pearl. You're gonna try and kill me, but you know it won't work unless I'm gonna die. But you know, Prodigy never dies. It's just, it's just it was just a, it was just for the content. This is not for the content though. But that those hits were. They didn't kill me once. I don't know how I won that. I really don't know how I won that. Anyway, um, so yeah, we were chilling in the call, and then the real Cyberonics joins. Uh, so we start talking to him. You know, it's chill. It's fun. I've, I've spoken to him before, before you say, oh my god, the real cyber, aren't you? I know that's half of you in there. That's half of you guys. Blaze, do something. Anyway. That's basically half of you, isn't it? Okay, we, we escaped from now. We're escaped. We've escaped. We build up. Oh my god. Idiot. What an idiot. I have strength, you fool. I have strength, you fool. Anyway, I don't want to kill the last guy so I can tell my story. Bruh, the amount of death that just happened. Oh my god, it was insane. That was insane. I actually like that. Anyway, so yeah, we're chilling in the call with Cyberonix, okay? Influential guy, okay? Influential guy for Cyberonix. And so then, Tommy Init, Tubbo, and Thunder1408 join the call and start screaming down the mic. Just like at the pitch of their voices. Just to tell Cyber to get in their call because they were making fun of him for like um, being so cool or something like that. And I'm like, bruh, why you gotta do it? I know you're like a self, you, you, you like screaming and stuff, but could you please save our ears? It was chaos, it was chaos. My ears hurt for like two hours. They were bleeding, they were crying. But yeah, that, that, it is what it is. You know, it's quite unfortunate. 
Wow, stop, stop, stop hitting me. Oh god, we need to finish this game quick. I don't want to die to this guy though. Because if I die to this guy, it'll be rather embarrassing. Uh, stop that, please, 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 please. I don't want to. Please. Oh! <gasps> 